Here at the Pelotron Accelerator Laboratory at SUNY Geneseo, students and faculty in the Department of Physics and Astronomy work together on a variety of projects. The heart of this lab is the 1.7 million volt tandem Pelotron Accelerator. This state-of-the-art machine is capable of accelerating beams of protons and deuterons, both nuclei of hydrogen atoms, and alpha particles, nuclei of helium atoms, to speeds of up to 15,000 miles per second, or roughly 10% of the speed of light. At these speeds, when the particles collide with specially prepared targets in a vacuum, X-rays, gamma rays, and scattered beam particles are produced. By studying these various byproducts, many properties of the target material can be deduced. Pelotron accelerators are used all over the world for analyses of various types. Here at Geneseo, we have concentrated in those areas particularly suitable for undergraduate research. Another project I've been able to invest heavily in is um, a trace element analysis project, which is fielded on the accelerator, known as PIXI, for proton-induced X-ray emission. This technique allows us to determine the elemental abundance of elements that are present in very small concentrations in all sorts of media. Our undergraduate physics majors in this lab participate in all phases of the projects. From designing and fabricating parts in the physics machine shop and maintaining the ion source on the accelerator, to collecting and analyzing the data, the efforts of our physics majors support other undergraduate science students who are able to get real hands-on experience in a lab that they otherwise would not have. I'm really excited to uh, be working on this uh, Pelotron project. I started at the end of my freshman year, um, which is really exciting for me because uh, the Pelotron Accelerator is one of the reasons that I chose Geneseo for my undergraduate because it's just an amazing opportunity. Some examples of the type of research carried out at Geneseo under the direction of faculty from various departments are Dr. Freeman and his students are currently working on a project to characterize the response of a detector used in laser fusion research being carried out at the Laboratory for Laser Energetics in Rochester, New York. A separate ongoing project using quite different techniques studies x-rays from geological sample targets when hit with high-energy beams. This research is a collaboration between professors David Meisel of the Physics Department and Richard Young of the Geology Department. The samples include meteorites, which are known extraterrestrial material that reaches the surface of the Earth. This research determines the elemental composition of these meteorites and hence ultimately reveals their origins. Dr. Stephen Padalino of the Physics Department and Dr. Bob O'Donnell in the Biology Department are working on a project to bombard cancer cells with proton beams. Their studies will determine the effectiveness of several cancer-fighting drugs. Geneseo students find these unique and real-world experiences very valuable, whether they go on to graduate school or enter the workforce following graduation from Geneseo.